there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to Stretch the Sketch. This month I am working on a sketch from Mayuchi, and I actually got it off of scrapbook.com, and I decided to make it a double page layout. And I kind of went back and forth on what to do with this sketch, um, and I left all of that in the video so you can see kind of like my thought process. So I decided I am using photos from my 25th wedding anniversary trip to Kauai and I'm using papers from Jen Hadfield's Chasing Adventures, um, Fifth and Monaco's, uh, or Pink Paisley's Fifth and Monaco and I'm also using some Art Walk from Heidi Swap. Um, the two papers you see there are from Chasing Adventure and you can see I'm trying to get the two strips, these banner pieces, out of the pink um, but at this point I think I'm going to have the right hand layout with a horizontal banners and then the left hand layout have vertical banners so I'm cutting it because it's text I'm cutting it in the proper way so you can read it and so I kinda had to piece it together for the right hand side because once I cut the strip for the left hand side I didn't have enough to cut the length that I wanted without piecing it together so that's what's happening there a little bit of messing around trying to get it on the page properly and then I kinda decide I think I'm gonna want some mixed media on this so I pulled out some Heidi Swap color shine in pink and blue uh, the very light colors of pink and blue um, there's a couple of options of the blue and I chose the lightest one and I don't have the name of it in front of me so I can't tell you what that is and then I'm trying to decide if I'm going to spray through those stencils that were just on the screen. Those are also from Heidi Swap. Those are from their, the Art Walk collection. And in the end, I decide not to spray through them because they're just like cardboard. They're not the plasticky stuff. So I didn't really want to spray them and get them wet. They do have a bit of a plastic coating on one side, but um, I, I didn't want to like spray it and get it wet. So I will use them, but I'm going to use them with some Distress ink going through them. So you can see here, I'm still going with a vertical and a horizontal and um, you can do that to stretch your sketch no problem it would look fine you're gonna see that I see it kind of come together that way and it would have worked fine but then I decided I want it to be a little more cohesive and not look like two pages using the same sketch side by side I want it to kinda of look more like um, like it's intended to be a double page layout if you will so I'm going to mess around with that for a while and, and you're going to see how that comes together as you watch. Um, I'm just using some black soot distress ink. I want to keep some black and white elements in this layout and in most of the layouts in my in my album they have this black and white element to them because there's a lot of black and white in the 5th and Monaco collection and I want to kind of um, mirror that and keep I want to keep some continent continuity going throughout all of my album for this particular trip because it's getting its own album. There's a lot of photos. I printed like almost 400 photos. I probably won't use all of them. Um, but I want to have a lot of continuity. So on a lot of the pages, I'm trying to add papers from all the collections that I'm using and some elements that you'll see repeatedly throughout the album. So um, hopefully it'll all make sense at the end. Now I'm sitting here trying to decide what size circles I want and what papers and I decide on these two pieces from the 5th and Monaco 6x8 and I like that because it has the smaller pattern on it and I knew I wanted something with a dark that black background to kind of pop off of those already colorful um, papers that have like you know the I guess they're not really colorful but they have they're busy with text and with pattern so I wanted something that's gonna pop off of that and then I decided to use um, a smaller punch to do the white the one with the white background and then I just had this little scrap of blue that you saw me punch some small circles out of it it has some um, shiny paper parts to it they're not really glittery I wouldn't say but they have like a, a gloss to them and I don't know what paper pad that's from. <laughs> so you can see here, this actually would have looked fine. It would look great, actually. 
I really like the way it looks right now on the screen and I certainly could have done that and I play around with it quite a bit more as we go along here you're gonna see um, I guess what I was really not thrilled with was I didn't want it again to look like two separate layouts side by side this is all the same place we are at the Kilauea lighthouse on Kauai we didn't actually go down into the lighthouse this is as close as we got to it um, we kinda just stopped there after we had gone on a boat tour of the Nepali Coast sea caves and that was an amazing adventure if you ever get to Kauai go do that one um, the boats actually go inside the caves and that was really cool um, so we didn't have a ton of time that I actually I think the lighthouse was closed by the time we got there but we decided hey you know what it's right here let's just drive th drive out there and see what it looks like and check out the view it's a beautiful view um, we got to see some Nene birds um, as we were driving down there and uh, I don't know it was just a gorgeous day so you know go check it out so here I've moved around those polka dots again and I'm thinking if I can kind of get them to swerve up from the bottom and then over towards the right and then maybe come back down on the left, it'll look kind of like the bubbles are floating across the pages. And it actually looks fine too. And I, I actually like how it looks. But <laughs> it wasn't solving the problem that I was trying to address. It just to me looks like two pages that I used the same sketch and same papers for. So I kind of wanted to bring those together a little bit more. So here we go again. I'm thinking maybe if my bubbles came down to the bottom on the left-hand side and flowed to the right. And then I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to turn the vertical one so that they're both horizontal, move my photos around, and go with that. So that's what I do. But then I realize I don't want my photos in the same position like they are right now. So I'm going to move those around. And, of course, that pink paper that has the text on it, I'm going to have to recut that so that the text goes the right direction because I don't want anybody to have to tilt their head sideways to look at the text, even though they probably wouldn't even read it anyway. But for me, I wanted it to match all the way across because right now one um, has the text going vertical and one has it going horizontal. And so this is pretty much how it's going to end up right here. Um, but I am going to have to make a few changes to, again, that text paper. And then I do use that Distress Ink, the Black Distress Ink, on all of the bubbles. I keep calling them bubbles. They're circles. They're not bubbles. Um, <laughs> on the circles. And then I am also going to use it on the banner pieces. And um, just I just want to add a little bit extra dimension and have things kind of pop off the page a little bit more. So um, let me tell you a little bit about Stretch the Sketch while I put this together. Uh, we do this every month, the third Sunday of the month. There's a large group of us and we participate as we can um, in providing you some interesting and different ways to use your sketch. So we use a 12 by 12 sketch and we can make any size layout or traveler's notebook page or whatever, um, you know, six by eight page, whatever we want, as long as it is not a 12 by 12. So some of us do eight and a half by 11 horizontal. Some of us do nine by 12. Some of us do, again, traveler's notebooks. Um, so there's a list of ladies that are participating down below in my description box. Go and check out all of the ladies that are um, have joined in. And we have just passed our two-year mark of doing this, so we have lots of content available. And I have a playlist on my channel for Stretch the Sketch, and you can go check that out. And then in the links be um, in all of my videos, there will be links to other ladies playing along for the particular month and sketch that uh, you are watching at the time when you select it. Um, so go check that out and see what we have going on and it, hopefully it'll provide you some interesting and different ways to use your sketches and um, yeah that's what we're here for to provide a little inspiration and show you different ways to interpret your sketch um, because I know there's like 
there aren't as many sketches for several other sizes like 6 by 12s and 6 by 8s so you know what you have to kind of adjust so and we all adjust in different ways and a lot of us um, kind of try to follow it more exact some of us you know look at it once and go from there uh, lots of inspiration so go check the, out all of the ladies so I've got everything inked now and I have got it the banner on the left hand side switched around so that the text is in the proper look um, orientation and then basically what I'm doing on my right side and I want to mirror on my left side and vice versa but I don't want it exact so if I put a large circle at the top I want a large circle at the top on the other side it doesn't have to be in the exact same location but it needs to be in that general vicinity and that will keep my layout balanced um, across from the double pages you know I, I want to have just as much on the left page as on the right page and this is true of if you're just doing a 12 by 12 if you're doing it on one side you you know um, in one embellishment group you do it in another embellishment group if that makes any sense so um, I want the same colors in on both pages I want the same uh, number of bubbles below my photos and above my photos on both pages but they don't have to be exactly situated in the same spot on each page now I am going to go back and I'm going to punch a few more circles I think I just called them bubbles again I don't know why I keep saying bubbles but they are circles and I guess undoubtedly bubbles are oftentimes circles as well but <laughs> um, some of these circles I have popped up onto foam tape especially the the smaller um, the smaller ones and I like the added dimension that that gives and then I am going to punch some more circles in even smaller sizes I have a 5 8 size punch that I'm going to use and then I even use a regular hole punch that you would use in an office type setting and add a couple of those and I add some sequins which are similarly sized to the hole punch but it gives a little bit of added dimension and shine and sparkle to the layout which I really like and enjoy so I think that works really well and I am just using fun, fun foam that's from Walmart it's got adhesive on one side and then you have to add adhesive on the other size side this is the 5 8 punch and I'm just gonna add some of those the ones that I punch out of the paper that has the black background I didn't really worry about adding um, distress ink to but the lighter colored ones I went ahead and added some dis distress ink to those as well just to make sure they pop off the page just like everything else and I'm kind of going with the thought that my bu my bubbles my circles are getting smaller as they go away from my photos so I like how that looks once I figured out how I wanted this layout laid out with respect to the photos and the banners it came together really quickly um, but as you saw I did a lot of hemming and hawing about which direction I was going to put them and you know like I said you could do it either way they would work it would it would work well either way and I do realize that I covered up a lot of the Heidi Swap color shine that I sprayed on there originally but there are still bits of it peeking out. You can especially see it on the left-hand page behind the blue banner. Um, in real life, you can see it on all of them, you know, behind on both pages, um, behind both pa banners. Um, it's just not really heavy, and that's okay. That's the look I was going for. And look at that. I have some thickers there spelling what I thought was Kilauea, but it's spelled incorrectly. I do fix that. You will see that in the close-ups. Um, and then it's going to read Kilauea Lighthouse and I used some smaller uh, thickers to spell out Lighthouse 
and I didn't make you sit through watching me rearrange those. And I won't make you sit through watching me spell it correctly either. So um, I'm adding some puffy uh, butterflies from Fifth and Monaco to a couple of the bubbles. Bubbles, oh my gosh, circles. <laughs> and then I had found some circle stickers in um, one of the collections that had some saying on it. One of them says it's a good day and then the other one is just a circle with the heart in it and I added those to the bottom right and left hand corners respectively. And that's pretty much going to do it. Um, stick around for the close-ups. They're coming up in just a few moments. Um, actually, I guess it's more than just a few moments. Oh, I am going to add a tag. I totally forgot that. Um, on each of my photos, my upper photos, I have a, a little um, sticker that has words on it. So one of them says, um, every moment with you is my favorite. And that's going on the right hand side, top photo, uh, just next to my husband's shoulder. And then corresponding on the opposite side, I'm going to put a label in vertically. And I just basically wrote, this was uh, the closest we got to the lighthouse and it was a great view. I didn't need to put a whole lot of other writing in there. Again, this is going into an album that is all about this trip. So there's writing on a lot of pages about the different things we went and saw and did. And lastly, I'm going to use the Black Soot Distress Ink and I'm going to ink the outer edges of each page. Uh, that would be the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. And I am leaving the middle where they join uh, just as it is. Okay, so now stick around for the close-ups. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. And if not, I'd love for you to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed this video. Um, close-ups are coming up, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.